welcome to the class children hope you all are fine today we will start with the new lesson things around us so from the heading only you can see that things around us means what are the things that are found around us so the things that are around us can be broadly divided into a living and non living so out of the so many things that are around us we have uh, two categories some set of things are living and some sets are non living so there are certain characteristic features which differentiate among themselves like what are the living things they have their own characteristic features and the non living things are differentiated from the living things by seeing their certain characteristic features so when you look outside around surrounding uh, your place the things that are surrounding us are called what our environment and uh, we see there are so many living things and non living things uh, both exists in nature so in environment we have both living things and non living things and uh, this interaction between the living and non living things maintain the life how do we interact with the non living things this way of interaction maintains the life processes okay so suppose if someone has gone to a park and uh, then you are asked to find out what are the living and non living things in a park then basically what are the living things that you will see there are people you will see the trees the plants the flowers the grasses all these are uh, living things and for the non living things you can see the benches if there is any in the park then the playing uh, things that are there like slide you know seesaw or um, swings that are there in the park okay so different items which don't have any life are called what non living things which can be visible in our surroundings and we along with the plants and the animals are what the living things now we will discuss about the different types of characteristics of living things so first and foremost character is structural organization where we can see the living things have a definite structural organization so all the living things bodies are made up of cells cells combine together to form tissue and tissues combine many tissues combine together performing similar functions to form the organ so now organs many organs will uh, perform the different functions the particular life processes and then they will form what the organ system like the digestive system like the respiratory system they form what they form the organ system so starting from the cells then we have the tissue then we have the organs that means the building block is the cell then many cells join together to form what the tissue and many tissues join together to form the organs to perform various functions organs with specific functions form the organ system like the digestive system okay now the organisms can be made up of only one cell these are unicellular organisms and uh, organisms may be made up of many cells like multicellular organisms as we are uh, you know the man or any plants like a rose plant we are multicellular we are made up of many cells next characteristic feature is movement and response to stimuli so you can see here this response to stimuli means so response to stimuli that means if any change is there in the external environment uh, then the activities of the organism is also changed any change in the external environment and the activities of the organism also change okay this is called what the response to stimuli the change in the environment is called the stimulus okay so the reaction that is given in the body is the stimulus if there is any change in the immediate environment of an organism then the organism changes activities this is called what a stimulus the change is called the stimulus and whatever the organism gives the as reaction this is the response 
okay so suppose we touch a hot object and immediately what we do we lift our hand immediately if we touch the hot object then we quickly very fast we remove our hand from the hot object this is the response that we give in to the stimuli stimuli is what the hot object that we are touching and immediate response that is we give that we give is the uh, moving of our hand from the hot object so this is what the reaction that we show towards the stimuli so every living organism will respond to the stimuli like in the touch me not plant if you touch the leaves of the touch me not plant then the leaves curl up so what touches the stimulus and the leaves curl up is the response similarly if you get electric shock in a switch or a plug then immediately what you do you move your hand from that place where you are getting the shock the plug point or the switch and that is the response and the stimulus is the electric current that we get and also the shoot of certain plants the stem of certain plants grow towards the light and the root grows downwards into the soil towards the gravity so which are the stimuli the light and the gravity of the stimuli and how the plant grow is the response towards that stimuli so what is the stimuli the change in the external environment the external change okay and the response is given by the living organism whether it is a plant or animal or human being or anything the response that is given against the stimulus is always there in the life but it will not be there in the non living things next we can see growth and development now all living things can grow this you all know child will grow into adult and a small seedling will grow into a new plant or a big tree and this growth is irreversible do you know what is irreversible change that means it cannot again recover into the tiny one that is the child if it grows into an adult it cannot again come back to a child so the growth is irreversible it cannot be changed we cannot get the seedling back from the plant seedling grows into a plant but if you want the seedling again we will not get so this is irreversible so living things have the characteristic feature which is very important that is growth and development next point is excretion this is also an important feature of the living things uh, here the living things in this process they remove the waste from the body the solid waste is feces the liquid waste is urine and the gaseous waste is carbon dioxide in the animals and in the plants the waste product is gums raisins latex right so this excretory products are what these are very harmful and this are to be removed from the body so for removing the from the body there is a process which is called excretion so what is excretion the removal of waste from the body is called what excretion so what are the waste products the animals have solid waste called feces or stool then urine the liquid one and carbon dioxide the gaseous one and plants will have the excretory product in the form of gums raisin and latex okay this excretory products are not stored inside the body they are supposed to come outside the body by the system of excretion next most important feature of living thing is respiration this is the process by which the living organisms utilize this oxygen to get what so that we can get the energy the we utilize oxygen to take uh, take what energy okay and this uh, energy is stored in the food so this food is broken down by the help of this oxygen and what is given out the energy which we need for our daily work purpose so this is respiration which is the process which by which the living things will use the oxygen to release what energy which is stored in the food so food is broken down to release what energy by which process by the process of respiration okay and plants and animals respire all the time once the respiration is stop then also the living organisms will die so respiration is a very important process and breathing okay now i'll uh, tell you about breathing 
so breathing is same as respiration if you can tell that breathing is same as respiration but no this is a part of respiration breathing is a part of respiration where we just inhale we just take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide this process of taking in and giving out simply is called what breathing just take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide okay so this is called what breathing normal this is mechanical system which we take in and give out the carbon dioxide take in oxygen and give out what carbon dioxide so breathing is a part of respiration but what is respiration where energy is utilized in the body but how oxygen is taken in to break down the food into the energy so respiration is the vital process of all living organism but breathing is the part of respiration okay next we come to the reproduction process where the living things has the ability to produce their own kind that means the living things have the ability to produce their child so this is called what reproduction okay so the ability of the living organisms to produce their own kind is called what reproduction so different organisms will have different modes of reproduction and uh, plants will give seeds and then from seeds only new plants will come out and the animals will reproduce by laying eggs or by giving birth to what young ones okay so as you can see that uh, the plants we get the seeds from the plants okay inside the fruits there are seeds so when we eat the fruit then we throw the seeds here and there and from there new plants can come out and for the animals we have what the eggs and sometimes you can see that some of the animals just give birth to their young ones like us we don't lay eggs we give birth to young ones so reproduction is also one of the most important feature of the living things because living things will have to reproduce its own kind it will have to reproduce its child so that the generation goes on next is nutrition as you can see that nutrition is very very important because all living organisms need what food without food life cannot persist so uh, all living things need food green plants will manufacture their own food by the process of photosynthesis and since they manufacture their own food they are called what autotrophs auto is self so troph is food and so self preparing who are the self preparing organisms plants they can prepare their own food so they are called as autotrophs and animals are called heterotrophs because why they are called heterotrophs they can't prepare their own food hetero means different and troph is the food so when they get the food from other things like other plants and animals then they are called what heterotrophs they cannot prepare their own food they depend on other plants and animals for their food right so nutrition is the process by which the living organisms take in food either they prepare their own food by photosynthesis of the green plants or they depend on the other plants and animals they are called what the heterotrophs okay but all living organisms need what food for their survival and the next is the very very important part that is the life span and death all living things will have a proper life span a fixed life span okay life span means from birth till death what is the timing that is maintained by all the living organisms life span and then death suppose human being can uh live for about 80 years so, so life span of the human being is about 80 years suppose so the time during which any plant or animal or human being can live is called what the life span from birth till death the period is called what life span from birth till death whatever time is taken by an individual this is called the life span okay so all living things will follow the cycle of growth then development and death the cycle goes on first there is birth then the adult then old and then the person will die any organism not only human being they will take birth then they will grow develop become adult then become old and then die this is known as the life cycle of an 
organism so for the hen also you can see hen lays eggs from the egg chicks are hatched again it develops into a hen it lays eggs and this way the cycle continues but once in their lifetime also there will be death one hen will die another will continue the processes so each and every living organisms have a proper life span a fixed life span actually and after certain time they will die death is inevitable for all as there is life there will be death so this way cycles will go on of life and death now if you want to discuss about the difference between the living things and non living things uh, then for the first point you can say that uh, living things are made up of cells but non living things are not made up of cells then you can see so many points we have discussed in this uh, lecture that uh, living things have the process of reproducing non living things will not have then living things can excrete non living things cannot living things need food non living things don't need food living things need air respiration then non living things don't need all this and then there is a life span and death and also for the non living there is nothing like that right this is very easy so if you are asked to find out some of the differences between living things and non living things i think all of you can say right so uh, some examples of living things are what simply you will tell plants animals human being we all are living and for the non living things we can say anything books pen pencils duster desk bench bed bed sheet anything you want to say okay so uh, for today we will do up to this much right uh, and uh, then in the next class we will be doing the rest part that is the environment and its related factors okay so before that you read up to this okay uh, children and then uh, we will do the exercises also but before that one most important thing that i'm going to tell uh, is that when you are using the mobile uh, for seeing the videos just uh, use this for your study only uh, okay because uh, this uh, continuously for using mobile then it will be uh, problematic for your eyes and if you are using it for any other purpose then it is it will be a very bad onus to you so don't create this bad habit only focus on your study whenever there is a new video you see the video uh, as quickly as possible and then you uh, take rest and read the chapter okay uh, don't use the mobile for any other purposes